Hey there guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to unclog your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. So you have a clogged nozzle, you've been trying to figure it out, I'm gonna show you how to fix this in today's video. Step number one is to remove the filament, and what we wanna do here is we wanna push this in and cut the filament. See that? Then we're gonna go ahead and pull the filament back and remove all the filament out of there. So just keep spinning until that filament is completely out of there. So I know you're probably stressing out guys, but honestly, this is a really simple fix. What's happening here is the filament has to obviously come through the PTFE tube, come through here, and somewhere along the lines, the filament is getting clogged in here, right? So it's either in this chamber here, or it's down here in the nozzle. Most likely what it is, is a small little piece of filament that is stuck at the very end of that piece right there. And if you can remember, we cut the filament off right here, so there's still a chunk of filament that's like that long. And what we're gonna try to do, is we're gonna try to heat up this entire section in hopes that the filament will stick to the piece that's stuck there, so go on over to your display and click on the settings button here and then scroll down. We need to be on page two, click on maintenance and then click on maintenance mode and we need to turn on maintenance mode. All right, so the next step, we wanna go over back to the nozzle. So first take this cover off and all you have to do is kind of like put your fingernail in the crease over here, see right there, and just peel it off, it should just fall off. Then what we wanna do here is we wanna pull off this sleeve. There's a little sleeve on this nozzle right here. So pull that off. And I know it's kinda of scary taking your printer apart. You're just gonna have to trust the process, guys. This is actually pretty simple. So get this off. Next, what we wanna do is go back over to our display here. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Click back to the main screen here. Then click Control and then click on nozzle. We wanna turn this nozzle up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on plus 30. I think we want around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's do 95. That's about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Then click okay in the upper right hand corner. You will hear your printer start to heat up and you, you can see the temperature right there. And this is what's known as a cold pull. Essentially what we're doing is we're heating up that chunk of filament in there and hoping that it sticks to the part that's stuck down in the extruder. And then when we cool it down, it's going to stick and we can just pull it out. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the nozzle. I highly suggest you use a screwdriver because this is gonna be extremely hot. So just pop that up right there. It's just a left and a right bracket right here. Then use a big channel locks or a big pliers to kind of just pull that out. There's the piece of filament. So go ahead and pull the filament out. This is known as the cold pull. As you can see here, the end is pretty wicked. Not sure what's going on with that. It might've been our issue. Next, what you wanna do is turn down the temperature of the nozzle. So let's go back down to five negative 30, go all the way down, then click OK. Then let everything cool down, set your nozzle somewhere where it's not gonna melt away because it's gonna be extremely hot. So there's a couple things we can do here. You can purchase a new nozzle, they're fairly cheap, I buy them on Amazon, or you can put your old one back in, make sure you have the right size. Um, it is recommended that you buy Bamboo Lab. I actually have decent success buying them on Amazon, they're pretty cheap, but that's up to you. Put the nozzle back in there and see if it is unclogged or not. If you still have a clogging issue, chances are you're gonna have to take this apart. Um, I will do, I will move forth with that within this next video. So if you're still having an issue with it still being clogged, we have to take this apart. So if it fixed your issue with changing out the nozzle, that's great. If it didn't, check out this video right here to continue taking this stuff apart right here.